It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a keg of Camden Hell's Lager to show you on the Phillips Perfect Draft. There's a look at it. It's a six litre keg coming in at 4.6% ABV. And I've got to be honest with you, I'm a big fan of Camden, Camden Hell's Lager. I think it's going to be really good on the Perfect Draft. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to fit the keg. And then we're going to get into it. So first of all, what you're going to want to do, I've removed my old keg. I had a Hawkston Lager, which I really enjoyed, thoroughly enjoyed that. So you're going to want to take the cap off. Each keg comes with a brand new line, and that's the beauty of these systems, is that you will always have fresh beer. There's nothing really to go wrong. No dirty old lines, you get a fresh line with every keg. So, opening your doors on your perfect draft. Releasing the blue handles by lifting them, you'll have your tap. I like to kind of hold, some people like to put the tap on the top of the keg first. I like to hold the tap, because you can really kind of Get that rubber nose, get that rubber nozzle even down nice and easily. There you go. Into the tap. So there's your line fitted. You can see the line there in the end of the tap. Uh, let's get straight into it. So what you're going to want to do, put it on, on the top here. And then push down with a bit of firmness with the back of your hand. There you go. You'll hear it click. Oh, do you know, I, I thought that wasn't quite. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. The tap just shot out. Whether when I'm at the back of my hand, press the release catch, that's probably what happened there. Anyway. Um, that's all sorted and done. Let's grab hold of the keg. And fit it into the perfect draft. Slides in. Two blue handles down. Shut your doors. What you... Pressurised keg, you can hear that with the machine, kind of giving it a bit of a vibration. Um, what you'll see on the front is, first of all, the degrees. That's coming in at 11. 11 degrees. Um, that will shoot down because I've pre-chilled my keg. I put my keg in the fridge 24 hours before. So that's going to go down nicely to 4 degrees. That's already at 10 degrees. Uh, we have a full bar saying that we have a full keg of beer. And we're on... 30 days, there's a number 30 there, that counts down until you get to zero and then you've kind of run out of time really to drink your beer. But um, So the perfect draft Hawkston Lager, I did it with 26 days to go. So I drank a keg in, in four days. But I like to time these videos. I like to time them that I'm, re I'm recording this on a Wednesday. I'll release the video on a Thursday. I'll drink the Camden Towers at the, uh, Camden Towers at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub Friday, and I'll finish off whatever's left on Saturday night. That's generally how I do things here on the channel. So next thing you're going to want to do is pour your beer. So don't just get your beer under the kind of tap and pull the handle down and pour a beer because. You need to shoot some beer into that line, that new line we fitted. You're going to want to kind of pre-fill the line with beer. So, a little, there you go. That's all you need to do. What you're also doing is wetting your glass. So you're kind of giving your glass a little bit of moisture as well, just to help to pour that first perfect pint. So, here we go then, let's, um, let's pour ourselves a 
um, a pint of Camden House Lager on the Phillips Perfect Draft. I'm quite excited by this. 45 degree angle, straight down with the handle. So there's a look at the beer. Not quite a Czech pour. Um, it was quite carbonated, but it's very lovely and pale, isn't it? Very lovely and pale with a two to three finger lovely white head there. Look at that. A mozzie just flew around my head. Flew in my ear almost. Uh, in terms of carbonation, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to get this up nice and close and you guys give me your interpretation of the carbonation. There's not much going on there, is there? It's not like there's a steady stream of carbonation going on. It's quite interesting, that. I wonder if the keg's okay. Straw coloured, clear to look at. Let's get the aroma. Smells lovely, lovely and crisp. Nice kind of malty backbone going on. Straw kind of, when I say malty backbone. It's almost like a light wafer aroma coming through. Spicy and peppery on the back end. Smells lovely. I do like it, Camden Hells. It's a good beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Uh, one thing, I, I know I talked about the carbonation, but it's got good head retention, which is very good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Now, I'm going to mention two things here. Um, the first thing I'm going to mention is for my personal preference, for my personal tastes, it, there's not much carbonation. But I'm okay with that. Because I don't like my lagers over carbonated anyway. But if you're used to a highly carbonated lager, you might find this to be a little bit flat. But again, it's your personal preference. If you can drink a lager with barely no carbonation at all, this will be for you. If you like your lager to be quite carbonated, this may not be for you. It might be a keg issue. It might be the fact that my keg's not quite carbonated enough or it's certainly not quite right here. I'm okay with it personally, but it all depends on you if you're okay with it. Perhaps your keg's fine. Let me know in the comments box. Mine seems a little flat. The heavens are opening in the old conservatory. Yeah, it's a bit flat that. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um In terms of flavour, it's got all of that kind of Camden Hell's lovely flavour. It's it's nice and kind of wafer like and biscuity. It's got a lovely, nice bitter back end, but it's not overly bitter. It's not like a pilsner. 
It's a lovely balanced beer. I could drink four or five pints of it. Um, but it's a little flat. It really is a little flat. What a shame. What a shame. I think that's the first time I've ever experienced a perfect draft keg with next to no carbonation. Every one of my perfect draft kegs have been bulletproof. They've all been really, really good. This is the first time I've ever found fault in the carbonation levels of a lager uh, on, on a keg for the Phillips Perfect Draft. Uh, and it's a bit of a shame because um, it's a decent tasting lager. It's got great head retention. Oh, well. I mean, I'm not going to contact Beer Hawk. I'm not going to speak to their customer services because it's one of them bot things you chat to. Um, and it's a bit of a palaver for me. I'll drink it. I'm one of these people, I just kind of like suck one up, suck one up and drink it. If, I, if I've reviewed 20 kegs on the Philips Perfect Draft and one of them's been slightly faulty with carbonation, hey ho. But in terms of rating, in terms of rating the beer, um, I could quite easily buy a bottle of Camden Hell's lager or I could quite easily buy a can of Camden Hell's lager and it would be nicely carbonated and it would be pretty decent but I, you know you've got I've gone to for the effort I've gone to try this in the perfect draft I've been quite excited by it and to be honest with you I do feel a little bit disappointed if you like um yeah, slightly disappointed with this. So, um, although I, it's drinkable and I like the flavours, it's not quite carbonated enough. It's, it's not as carbonated as a can or a bottle. But that's not the point of a Philips Perfect Draft machine, is it? I mean, we can all go and buy cans and bottles if we like. It's the at-home draft experience that we're kind of craving. Um, so I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, whereas normally I'd probably give this review maybe an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give this a 7 because of the levels of carbonation. So slightly disappointed then, but thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.